Hi there. I wish I could see you in person, but it is really good to be with you and to share a story with you this morning, or whenever, I guess, you're watching this, about um, money and about what's fair and about generosity and goodness. And this is a story that Jesus tells it's one of his parables. Jesus is often teaching and offering his teaching in the form of storytelling because stories are rich with meaning. Sometimes Jesus' stories are really puzzling and sometimes they're really surprising and sometimes they're really challenging. And I think that this might be a story that's all three of those things. And maybe it's also a story that is comforting. Probably depends on how you hear it. I'll share it with you now. Jesus said, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who owned a vineyard. Do you know what a vineyard is? A vineyard is... you do. It's a place uh, where grapes are grown, and grapes are hung on a line, and they grow in rows. If you've ever been to a place where there are vineyards, and there are some places here in Eastern Washington where there are vineyards, these lines of vineyards that sometimes go for hundreds of yards are beautiful. So this man, he owns a vineyard and he goes into the city to look for some people that he can hire to work in his vineyard. He goes at the beginning of the day and he finds a couple of workers and he says, come on, come with me, come work in my vineyard. You can work for the whole day and I'll pay you a whole day's wages or money. I'll give you a fair amount of money for the whole day's work. So they say, great, I'm, you know, I'm here in the city because I'm looking for work. Then two hours later, the vineyard owner goes back into town. He finds more workers, brings them back, has them work. He says, come on over to the vineyard and uh, you can do some work for me and I'll pay you. And he goes back in the middle of the day and he finds more workers. He goes back in the late afternoon and he finds more workers. Then at the very end of the day, he pays them all, and he pays them in front of each other. So he starts with the people who worked the least amount of time, and he pays them a full day's payment. Then he goes to the next workers who worked a little bit more time, but not much more time. And again, he gives them a full day's wages. Then he goes to the workers who came at midday. And again, a full day's wages. Then he goes to the workers who came in the middle of the morning. And he gives them a full day's wages. Then, finally, he gets to the workers that he hired at the very beginning of the day. And he gives them also a full day's wages. Of course, the people who started at the beginning of the day say, hey, what's going on? Why am I getting paid the same amount of money for a day's wages as
as the people who only worked for two hours. I work for eight hours. The man who owns the vineyard says, why are you angry with me? Can't I be generous with who I want to be generous with? And haven't I paid you what I said I was going to pay you? That's the story. The whole story. And Jesus says, that story is like the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven? Well, the kingdom of heaven is anywhere and any time that God's goodness comes to define how we live together. And hopefully, and in the promises of God, there will come a time, there will, when God's goodness will define everything about the way we live together. So there will only be good news and not bad news. But right now, we live in a time when the good news is with us in a partial way and not fully. And the good news comes in the way that we serve each other and we care. The good news comes when people meet Jesus for the first time. The good news comes when we find ourselves in prayer and in love and in relationships where we are doing our very best to really see each other as we are and really love each other as we are. And so how is the kingdom of heaven like this story about a vineyard owner who pays all these different people who work different lengths of time all the same amount of money? Do you see how this story is kind of puzzling and kind of challenging and kind of interesting. I've been thinking about this story since I was your age, since I was a kid, wondering about it. Of course, if I had started at the beginning of the day, I would have wondered, why am I not getting more money than these people who only worked a few hours? Maybe what the story is telling us is that when we do good work, the point isn't the money. Money is something we need, and it's something that all of the workers needed, but they didn't have work at the beginning of the day. It's hard for some people to find work. It's not just their fault that they can't get work. Sometimes it's somebody else's fault that they can't get work. There just isn't work available. So maybe the story is telling us that if we have good work to do, good work of loving and serving and taking care of each other, then that's the main thing. That's the most important thing. Maybe the story is telling us something about God, that God has enough work and enough good things to meet all of our needs regardless of our own efforts. That this idea of grace is a super, super abundance of everything that we need and that God has enough for everyone. So maybe it's a story about how the kingdom of heaven is really about generosity. But maybe we don't hear the story as the 
the people who started at the beginning of the day. One way to hear the story is to think about God's revelation of God's self over time in the story of the scriptures. First in nature, and then in Abraham, and then in Israel as a people, and then in Jesus, and in the church. And when we think about this story from that perspective, the workers who were invited to be a part of the story from the beginning are people like Abraham and Sarah, and Rachel, and Leah, and Ruth, and Jacob, Joseph. And their story goes way back before ours. We come in right now, kind of at the end of the day, in a way. But we get to be part of the same work, the same blessing, the kingdom of God that they do. We get to be a part of God's generosity with and in the world. I wonder how you hear the story. Who do you identify with? Do you identify with the workers at the end of the day? Or maybe in the middle of the day? Maybe at the beginning of the day? However you hear the story, I hope that you hear that God is good, that God loves you, that God is generous, that God has enough for you, and enough for everyone you share the world with. Blessings to you.